Hello, and welcome to Ask Excite. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry, and today's question comes from Sandeep. Sandeep asks, what makes a good voltage? Now that's a great question, Sandeep, because setting the voltage is one of the important things that you need to do when you're optimizing your flow cytometry experiment. If you're running a one-off experiment, oftentimes you can just get a posted voltage generated using the PEAK2 method or the CSOT method or some other method that finds the best voltage for your PMTs. But if you think about it, the best voltage is one where the cells are on scale and in the linear dynamic range of the PMT, where the contribution of error in the due to electronic noise is minimal, no more than 10 to 20 percent, and is within that sensitive range of the PMT. Now, we've talked about how to optimize your voltages in a, another video, so you can refer back to that. But ultimately, you want to identify that voltage either using the, the one-off method if you're just doing a quick experiment or optimize it during your panel development and monitor that using things like application specific settings, uh, the peak six method, a uh, reference control and things of that nature. Now that will help you keep and maintain a good voltage so that you're getting consistent reproducible signals from your flow cytometer. Now thanks for that question Sandeep and remember if you have more questions go to getflowtraining.com or send us an email at askexcite at expertcytometry.com. Or you can hit us up with the hashtag AskExcite. Thanks again for another Ask Excite. And until next time, be sure to stay right here to get your best practices in flow cytometry with your friends in flow, Tim and Team Excite.